Hello, thank you for joining us today as we'll walk through the cloning of the channels and settings on your Kenwood ProTalk business units. My name is Grady Teske and I'm the sales manager for Comquip, Kenwood's master ProTalk distributor on the west coast. Today's walkthrough will cover the TK3230. First and foremost, thank you for your purchase of Kenwood's business radio line. These out-of-the-box communication power tools are pre-programmed with up to 64 frequencies, 39 quiet tones, and 83 digital quiet tones. This ensures that your conversations are both private and can match any existing radio network. To build a network easily, Kenwood has equipped all of their units with both the wireless cloning feature and also the reprogramming on the radio themselves. This is proprietary to the Kenwood units and will only work on like model radios. The first thing you'll need to reprogram your TK3230 is your master unit. Now this master unit has already been reprogrammed with the frequencies and settings you desire, so take your master unit now and set it aside. The next thing you're going to need are the radios you wish to have programmed. We'll call them the slave units. What you'll want to do to start is turn all of your slave units on into the uh, cloning setting. This can be done by locating the push to talk button on the side of your radio and also the, mo the monitor button on the bottom of your radio. So first start with your unit off, depress the push to talk button and depress the monitor button then turn your unit on. If done correctly, you should hear a beep first, then your screen will show clone, and then FQ-1. Once you've turned on all your slave units, you can return to your master's unit, the one you carefully set aside so as not to mix up with your slave units. Then you're going to turn your master unit on to the clone setting in a similar fashion, depressing the push to talk button and the monitor button while turning the unit on. Once that's completed, you're going to take your master unit and then depress the push to talk button. Depress the monitor and push to talk buttons while turning the unit on using the knob on top. The screen will display clone and frequency 1. Turn on all units to the clone setting, then hit push to talk on the master unit to clone. The slave units turn green and display prog, and the master unit blinks red displaying clone. When complete, the master displays end, the slave units beep once and return to normal. So take your master unit, just check the, the monitor real quick, and it should say end if done correctly. You may notice some of your cloned units might have an amber light on. That just means that they weren't done correctly. Go ahead and start the process over and it should work again the second time. However, all of these units say 1-01, which means they have been successfully cloned to match the settings. That's it for the cloning on the TK3230. It's a rather simple process, so I hope that you found this walkthrough useful. Thank you again for your support of Kenwood's ProTalk radios. If you have any questions on this or other issues, contact your local dealer or Comquip at 877-533 5331. Have a great day.